Is there a way to reset my IMAP username and password? Hello there. Today, we're going to walk you through a pretty straightforward process, how to reset your IMAP username and password. This is something you might need to do if you've forgotten these details or you just want to change them for security reasons. What is IMAP? IMAP or Internet Message Access Protocol is a method used by email clients to access email on a remote mail server. You need a username and password to access your emails via IMAP, and if you forget these, don't worry. Resetting them isn't as complicated as it might sound. Identifying your email service provider Before we can reset anything, you need to identify your email service provider. This is because different providers may have different methods for resetting your IMAP credentials. Your email provider could be Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, or any other provider. Once you've identified your provider, you're ready for the next step. How to reset IMAP username and password Now, we're going to delve into the process. Please note that this is a general guide. And while these steps will be roughly similar across different providers, there might be slight variations. You should always check the official documentation or support from your email service provider for the most accurate guidance. Step 1. First, you need to sign in to your email account through your provider's website. Use your existing username and password for this. Step 2. Next, go to the Settings or Options menu. This is typically represented by a gear icon or simply labeled, Settings, or Options. Step 3. Look for a section labeled, Account Settings, Account Info, or Security Settings. This is where you'll find the options to change your username or password. Step 4. If you are changing your password, you will likely be asked to enter your current password before you can change it to a new one. If you've forgotten your current password, look for an option that says, Forgot Password, or similar. This will usually involve answering some security questions or receiving a recovery link to your registered mobile number or alternative email address. Step 5. If you want to change your username, be aware that this option may not always be available, and where it is, it will usually be in the same general area as the password settings. Step 6. Once you've changed your username or password, remember to save your changes. And that's it. You've now successfully reset your IMAP username and password. Remember, if you run into any issues, your email service provider's support resources should be your first port of call. We hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.